Hey folks, Rob Flux here with a real deal in the field with one of my students, Alex Hubbard, uh, out in the field in Port Macquarie. Now this one's a little bit different. Uh, we're doing this via Zoom because Port Macquarie isn't exactly around the corner. How many hours drive, Alex, is Port Macquarie from, uh, from where you live, mate? Yeah, g'day, Rob. G'day, guys. Um, in not so sunny Port Macquarie. Um, well, normally it's about four and a half hours, but um, uh, generally I can get up here in about three and a bit. So yeah, um, at, at the at the I'm speed of light. Get packed though. So <laughs> at the speed of light, uh, <laughs> mate. Uh, this is a site that you uh, acquired some time ago um, and held onto for quite some time. So uh, when did you actually buy it? Um, so uh, technically, actually uh, completed or exchanged on it. Um, and then settled in 2008. So 2007, looked at it uh, into 2007 and then uh, settled on it in 2008. And then um, land banked it for a while and uh, about 18 months ago, decided to pull the trigger on it. Um, now, yeah. looking right behind you, doesn't actually look like much, mate, but uh, no, you've managed to turn that into uh, six townhouses, mate. Ta-da! Wow. <laughs> Through the magic that is the interwebs. Um, mate, uh, cracking outcome there, uh, and clearly you're you're just coming up to uh, final lockup stage now. So where where is it at, at at the moment? Yeah, yep, just um, finishing stages. Um, um, with uh, four out of six of um, completes, um, so at lockup, um, uh, just going through doing defects on those ones. Uh, two more just with requiring some carpets and finish off bits. Um, for, um, screens and whatnot for showers and then we're back on outside which is uh, driveway and landscaping and um, perfect timing because the rain's come down at, uh, yes. at that exact moment when we need to get out here and, and do some digging but as you can see it's quite um, yeah, quite, quite, boggy. Quite, quite boggy uh, yeah. mate firstly let's ask the question why did you land bank it for so long what happened in the middle there yeah because um, we uh, had wind um, from colleague on another project we were working on he was a, the uh, commercial plumber on that project mentioned to us about this uh, particular site they've been sitting idle here and um so we uh had a look at it went yeah we can improve the the existing da had a da for five villas and um could see potential that uh, to take the two-story that would um, encapsulate some distant water views um so we went through the the design process with the local architect um took them from five villa, single story villas to six two-story townhouses and um and a pretty good product and then um yeah we well, got the da on that and then we sat on it for a little bit um because we're doing some other projects in sydney and then um when we came back and had a look at it again about 18 months ago looked at the design and went it's not really the right functionality um, layout wise, um, there, were th there were three betters, really big three betters. Uh, we went, well, and easily four. Um, so changed the layout, changed the plan, the section 96 modification in, and went to four bed plus studies from three betters. Um, and then commits, you know, marketing program, put in, put together a high level res brochure that um, enables us to sell off the plan. Local agents were like, no, we don't sell off the plan here. No one, no one can do that. It's just not feasible. And we went, well, let's see if we can. And we certainly did. And we sold them too well, unfortunately. Um, too soon, too soon. Too um, soon. Didn't, didn't cash in on the, on the, on the market uplift. Well, look, uh, you know, they, they started at the, the 730s and then uh, the last one went up to um, just shy 900 um, um, in, uh, in the matter of, I don't know, um, like that. Um, so, and then I'm holding on to the one at the top, the best one um, with the best views. And uh, we put a few, a few more extras in there, um, tweaked it a little bit and um, just upgrades, um, you know, kitchen and bathrooms and whatnot. And um, then during the, um, the set out for the um, subdivision strata plan, um, we looked at the, uh, the boundaries and went, um, well, we can probably claim a little bit of what would be the common area. And save the poor strata from having to, to fund that cost. And we just uh, yeah, did a couple of extra lines and added an extra 350 square meters of uh, side yard and, and uh, rear yard and, and driveway. So um, nice. it's great nice. when you can do a, just draw a line on a, on a page and, and, and add 350 square meters. So that was great. That, that's <laughs> uh, the, the magic outcome. Now you bought a long time ago. And so your numbers, uh, if we looked at when you bought uh, are just like through the roof. Right. Yes. Um, yeah. 
So uh, how much did you buy in Port Macquarie in 2008? Uh, including GST, uh, GST and um, stamp duty, probably 350 was the uh, site cost. <laughs> Yeah, I know, right? If only we could do that again, right? So, uh, so uh, I'd buy ten. When you when you restarted the project eighteen months ago, uh, what was the land actually worth at that point in time? Um, it would have been worth probably around at the one point two. Um, one point two. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so you've clearly got some uh, uplift just in holding on to the um, uh, holding on to the land for some time, but let's just pretend that we were buying 18 months ago and doing our project uh what would what would be your profit on cost based just on that purchase price at the time yeah probably around about 35 40 percent yeah um, uh, so which is still cracking money mate absolutely cracking money so uh so do this with me one million dollars <laughs> one million dollars uh, so you you correct the million dollar mark. I think you I think you said somewhere like one point six is what you're projected to get out of this. Uh, and we're still still holding on to one as well. So the one point six plus holding one. So yeah. uh, cracking outcome, um, mate. Uh, we'll, we'll do a little bit of a tour later on. Uh, but what would you do differently uh, other than the holding? Um, what would you do differently uh, next time round? Uh, given, I guess, what you've learned both on the project and, I guess, uh, through anything that you've done with me. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, so project-wise, I certainly, I guess, I, I would look at every pro. I'd look at the next project quite differently. Um, certainly, from a structure perspective, structure point of view, while I'm looking at the exit strategies in multiple effects um, versus, um, yeah, how do we just get this done and built and you know get coin and and you know, hey, million dollars. So um, having a, a little bit more um, thought process into um, you know what, what that what's that project going to look like um, at the start, but with the exit strategies and multiple considerations at the back end, but you know getting the right entities and structures as far as um, you know holding assets, um, and also from a funding perspective to um, to look at improving um, with uplift on you know DA versus uh, versus raw, um, so that that's another certainly a, a lesson I've always known about it, but um, just understanding more about how to to make that come about. Um, the Rob Flux course has got me there, so um, <laughs> no, it's not mindset. it's not a free plug fest, mate. But I do appreciate it. <laughs> um, the I guess the. The lesson for everyone out there is, look, start with the end in mind. Know what you're trying to achieve at the at the, at the end. Our ultimate goal is to, to keep stock as passive income, right? So uh, if we can hold that in the correct asset protection entity uh, and tax minimization, then you don't actually realise your profit if you don't sell it. If you hold on to it, it's just going to generate revenue forever. So that's really the, the, the ultimate goal. So you've yeah. managed to keep one doing that uh, plus a whole bunch of cash. Um, so you know you can't you can't be too sad, mate. Um, no, 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 not at all. The only thing I'm going to be sad about is that um, the demand for um, Airbnb uh, for this type of property um, is huge, and I'm probably going to have to defer when I stay in it for like ten days over Christmas. So it's disappointing. <laughs> so, so, so did you say when we stay in it i think that's what you we, said we of course when, when we yeah, stay yeah, in, yeah. that's right so <laughs> I, th I think that's all of the pdn community uh where where alex has just promised he's going to give you a really good discount if you want to airbnb uh at his property just uh, reach out to hashtag alex uh, alex give me give me free stuff uh <laughs> um Mate, uh, how 100%, long is it? You know, if you if you book for seven days, I'll definitely give you ten percent off the uh, the going rate. Yeah, there you guarantee. Go. You heard it here first, folks. Um, mate, how long until we're until we're done? Um, well, <laughs> when the rain lets up, then um, I can give you that answer. But uh, no, in all seriousness, we're anticipating um, settlements, calling for settlements um, in two weeks. So um, we're hoping to settle uh, all the other the sold ones. Um, they're all the purchases tromping at the bit as you can imagine to get in before christmas so um our plan is to settle them all before christmas and um yeah ha have a nice uh, nice drink um to celebrate okay folks we've just changed camera angles uh now alex is trying really hard 
to have a combination of internet signal uh, and no boots inside the, uh, on, the, on the lovely wooden floor. So what you can see there is the, uh, the living area and, uh, and kitchen. Uh, mate, tell us a little bit about, I guess, the, uh, the space, how big it is and, and the like. You said uh, four beds and a study? Yeah, four beds and study. Um, well, it's a study nook, so it's not a full dedicated study, but the study runs off the, the um, living area. Um, so I guess from an Airbnb perspective, um, maybe ideal, but you know, you're, you're still in the, the company of the others. Um, timber floors um, all upstairs in the, um, the uh, thoroughfare areas, uh, kitchen, uh, dining lounge, um, and then you know, tiles everywhere else. Um, two full bathrooms, um, both act as en suites to two main beds um, and um, three-way access to, uh, for other occupants as well. So um, it's got a fair bit of functionality from that point. Um, big uh, balcony area. Um, it's, uh, what is it? Um, three by uh, eight, nine metres, I think. Um, so a good area to then be hanging out on the... Yep. Balcony, yep. so nice, big, nice big balcony. And, yep. and take a take a couple of steps back. We'll show what would be the view. Now this is the second worst. So this is the bottom of the hill, uh, and it is an overcast day, so you can't uh, really see. But you do get views out to the bay. So uh, yep. absolutely, the uh, the one that you've kept just happens to be the best one with the best views at the top of the hill. Uh, yep. Greedy bastard. Um, <laughs> Mate, uh, huge kudos and great congratulations on uh, executing the deal. Um, uh, Thanks, mate. Looking forward to seeing, I guess, the full story when you present, a, uh, I guess, the real deal at one of our upcom um, upcoming meetups. Uh, yes. But uh, until then, That's mate, right. thank you very much for sharing. And uh, we'll say goodbye to the folks. And My pleasure. Uh, we'll see you all at Alex's upcoming real deal in Sydney uh, in the coming months. Okay. Well done, mate. Congrats. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. Okay, Rob. Back on site. Sun's out. Guns out. As promised. Got to get you a bit of a, an idea of what the view looks like. And you can see the view to the east. Little cloud cover still, but you should be able to distinguish the blue from the dark blue. One's ocean, one's sky.